There's lots of modalities you can use the phased array and linear probe in the hospital setting, not just the ER. Ultrasound is great. And, you know, we use in the emergency department a lot. It's extending into the inpatient setting and so forth. There's a lot of modalities at point of care ultrasound in the hospital setting. Imagine assessing volume status every day on your patients, or imagine running to codes, right? You have this in your pocket and there's a code on the floor. You can sort of do a rush exam or a cardiac arrest exam to kind of see what's going on in the heat of the moment. I can imagine hospitalists or mid-levels using this to sort of follow patients, track their volume status, and you can do serial lung examinations potentially too. I uniquely only work in hospital settings and I found it incredibly useful. I think for inpatient doctors as well, uh, or any inpatient healthcare practitioners, whether they're nurse practitioners, physician assistants, anyone who has the skills to do some ultrasound scanning, can really find it remarkably useful. In the inpatient setting, people are going from floor to floor, building to building, really seeing patients all over geographically. And the logistics of doing ultrasound at the point of care in those kinds of settings is really challenging. Having a cart, you're either wheeling around this cart everywhere up and down the elevator with you, wherever you are, or you, know, you have to go get a different cart in different regions of the hospital. It's a real pain. Having a single scanner in your pocket or with you at all times, however you carry it, you know, allows you to take that ultrasound with you wherever you're going in the hospital. So for those practitioners who are really geographically spread out, it could be totally transformative. And the PAL multipurpose scanner can do everything they need to do in the inpatient. So scanning hearts, scanning lungs, looking for DVTs, whatever it is on the inpatient service they need to do, uh, this scanner can do all of that for them. Once you do the study, you'll of course see improvements in quality of patient care because a lot of times it's that ultrasound study that makes or breaks whether or not you're able to make the diagnosis. So in my emergency department, we have seven CART-based systems, and we've, we've been doing ultrasound in my department for almost 30 years. And for the most of those 30 years, all we had were the CART-based systems to learn or to uh, use them for patient care. What we are embarking on now is actually putting in these hand carry devices, clearest devices, into our emergency department to see if we can get our clinicians to utilize ultrasound more frequently in the diagnosis and management of patients. And uh, we're still early in that phase, but just anecdotally, it's pretty obvious that we're getting people to do a lot more studies. It's very easy when it's just sitting by your computer station, sitting there ready to go. You just basically pull it out, link it to your phone as you're walking into the room and initiate the study very, very early while you're accumulating a history and physical. In fact, you know, ultrasound really needs to be you know, a component that you're doing with your physical exam. I mean, you're examining these patients, but a physical exam is not terribly sensitive or specific for a variety of disease processes. And here you have this thing just sitting in your hand. You immediately go and examine the patient. So uh, I can tell you now that what we expect to see over the next five to 10 years is a dramatic shift in how we're utilizing point of care ultrasound at the bedside.